Hello there. Um, by the end of this uh, tutorial, you would have created this template uh, or this wireframe using voice command. What I've already done is I've uh, tested this and then downloaded the abstract designer guide. Uh, I mean, you don't have always to remember <laughs> everything. So I've downloaded the abstract designer guide to just make me remember what I did, you know. So we will use that to create the wireframe using voice command. Uh, however, for now, um, this has been created using components that are sitting here. So uh, the first thing that you need to do, because we're going to be starting basically from scratch with, with a blank project, uh, we're going to delete everything that is here, you know, so that we just do it from scratch in terms of if you are starting to learn how to do the voice command to create a simple page without any navigation or whatsoever, how will you go about doing it? As you can see here, we have a page, it has a header, it has a menu button, and then there's a Hello Citas Ionic wireframes inside that content of the page. So we're going to create that. This has followed this particular tree structure here. We have content A, header A, toolbar A, buttons left, buttons left, which is what is hosting this button here menu button A, which is that button, and then the title, which is this, content B, which is this content area here, and then label A, which is this. I've decided to use alphabets at the end of each uh, component name because it's easy for the voice command to pick that up. Because when it's one or two or three, then it usually type numerics or either it types um, one as in the word one so it's easy when it's like alphabets because it's you know it knows exactly where you're you're you're, you're taking your thing at so what we're going to do is going to use voice command to delete everything that is here and then start from scratch and we're going to do it bit by bit you know so let's follow it through uh you're going to need to activate voice command now so i'm going to click there and activate it you can pause it here so I'm going to click here to activate it. And then my first command, of course, will have to be delete everything, which means that it needs to clear whatever is in this wireframe so that we start a new wireframe. So here we go. Delete everything. Yes. No. So it has deleted everything and it has cleared our working area. So what I'm going to do is I've already downloaded the abstract designer user's guide, which you get from clicking here after you create a wireframe. The user's guide, of course, it helps you to create the same wireframe using the abstract designer in, in, in B4J. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to skip the particular sections here and start from the beginning. This is where we're at. So <clears throat> what we need to basically be doing as a first starting point is to add an iron content in our wireframe. So to do that, we're just going to remove this part of our command and just say new content. new content so what that has done now is to activate that command let me just minimize uh, this a little bit what it did was to create a new content item you see ion content ion content here so i'm going to name this a yeah, so that we follow the same instructions that we here because the name should be content A. So I'm going to name that A. Yeah. And then uh, the next thing that we need to do, for example, here, yeah, saying mode MD. So that is mode material design. Mode 
material design so as you can see this now has changed to MD now we can change it to be MD or iOS to change it to iOS I'm going to say Apple Apple you see it has changed to Apple material design let's leave it like that okay now the full screen is through the so what we need to do is to say full screen true some of the properties are coded some of them are not but I mean full screen true let's just set it through ourselves so we check it there because it's saying it's checked there iron padding it's false and padding adds a padding around the component so we're going to uncheck this because it's saying it's false here and then use div use tag it's saying it's div there so the use tag here it's not iron content it's a div because what you do you're setting this to be a div because if you add a footer on this particular page it will just sit below the header so we don't want that so we make this a division so that it's able to when you want to add a footer then the footer can sit at the bottom of the screen here so let's save the component save component see now it has been saved um, I want to refresh the screen so what I'm going to do I'll give it a command called refresh refresh cool now what has happened is that it has created our component and it has added it to the tree you know we named it content a follow the instructions that we have been given here you know uh, in most of the cases you won't have these instructions but I'm just uh, explaining, you know, without having to remember everything, I just use the instructions that I already have. So, if for example you want then to select the content A and maybe change some properties, you just issue a command, select content A. So, I want to probably change something on content A. Select content A. Now it has activated it because I gave it the command of select content A. Now let's perhaps change the color of this uh, component to dark. Color dark. You see it has changed the color here to dark. Save component. Save component refresh okay um, select content A ah I forgot something parent device check parent device check now I forgot to say parent device check here in relation to this because as this is the first component in the page we needed to display in this particular area of the screen so for the first 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 component you need to say parent device check here so that at least it's sitting on the cell phone uh, picture here <laughs> if I can call it like that save component Save component. Save component. Wow. Okay, let's just save the component. Uh, as you can see, you need to take uh, breaks in between commands because I mean it's uh, recording everything. So we have placed our first content area 
inside uh, the application so what we're going to do now is to add the next component in line we'll do this as we go along now the next component to add is a header so we're going to say new header new header and then we name it header a ne? and then we save it okay if you refresh the screen now the header is sitting inside header a yeah. so select component header a <laughs> saying headache select header a okay cool um, in the mini user manual you'll see the list of commands that you can use you know to work around the application itself i'll, pro I'll provide that so um now we have two components content a and header a so uh, the next one that we need to add is a toolbar we're going to add a toolbar inside the header a because as you can see here you know and we'll name it toolbar a okay if we select header a here we'll make it active you know so let's say for example we have activated content a and it's the current active uh, component to make the another component active we just need to fire a command like you select and then you use the command name for it to be selected so let's fire up a command to select uh, header a in. select header a now it's active now we want to add a toolbar so we fire a new toolbar command new toolbar so it has activated a new toolbar property back so let's save it as a toolbar a the parent id is header a and then we save it save component cool and then our wireframe is coming to life so we've been able to create a header and a toolbar inside an iron content uh, section now what we need to do we need to add the left buttons here all the right buttons and then a title into this page so what are we going to do inside the toolbar yeah, that's where we need to add our buttons so let's select the toolbar add left buttons add menu button add a title select toolbar a new buttons new buttons new buttons new buttons new buttons okay you see the system is picking buttons 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 so it basically means that i just need to make it accept that kind of command you know so um 
let's add buttons manually you know so to add buttons we go to navigation you don't have to remember everything yeah anyway navigation buttons né? so this is what we want to add we're going to six, click this and then we're going to call it buttons buttons left né? buttons left and then we save it so what it has done now is to create a host for whatever button that we're going to be saving creating on this so what we need to do here is to add a menu button select buttons left new menu button see now i've created the menu button so the menu button is called the menu button a so we're going to call menu button a we say auto height is false auto height is like when you have opened the app on a pc then the menu will be hidden and then it causes auto hide but then if you don't want that functionality you can just uncheck it so i'm just unchecking it here because i want the button to show save component save component save component refresh okay so as you can see now we had iron content with a header with a toolbar we have a left buttons we have a menu button expand button left expand buttons left Okay, what we want to do is to expand this but using voice command expand buttons left okay let's just expand it so far we're going so well um what we need to do now is to add the title the title sits inside the toolbar because the left buttons is this host, the menu button is inside the left buttons, so we need an inserted title that is going to be sitting here. So to do that, we're going to need to add it to the toolbar. So, as usual, select toolbar A, new title, The new title, as you can see here, is called Title A and the text is Ionic 7. So, Title A and the text is Ionic 7. Let me save the component. There we go. So, we're going well. Now, the next thing that we need to do is to add content inside our area here our street structure at this particular moment doesn't have a section to add content so we need to add the content this content must sit after the head because this is the page which is the content a and then the header here is everything that you see here so what is inside here must be the, another content for us to be able to place our components inside it so let's add another content area after the header so it's going to be inside here so you can select that activate it new content new content
new content. Now our new content is called content B, you know, so let's change it to be content B and then we save it. So in our structure, we have the hosting, the header, now content B is inside here. Now we need to add our hello world label thing. So in relation to our we have used an SH label. This is a native label because the one label for Ionic uh, named it SH ion label. So this one is a native one. So we use new native label for it. New native label. New native label. Let's make things easy. New paragraph. Cool. Now, this is label A. The size of this thing is label, size, call it label. The text of this thing is hello ionic wireframes. Save component. Refresh. Now, As you can see, we have everything going on, but something is not working here. So our content label A is not showing. Let's see what's wrong. Uh, this is not a page. Let's say this. Yeah, that was what was wrong. Eh? This is not a page. Iron page false. Huh. <laughs> I forgot to set that out. So, yeah, because the visit page is going to take the full area, which means that this hello thing was hidden behind that because the content was full page. So, as you can see now, we have used voice command to create our application. You know, so that is how you would do it. But however, it just means that you need to familiarize yourself with the commands and what is it that they do. And the only thing to do that is if you play around with what is happening. Um, in the Ionic framework documentation, you know, um, I just want to show you something there. For example, if we had to begin this application, you know, because we just use our own uh, thought in terms of how this will look like. But if you go to the Ionic documentation, for example, uh, I'm going to open components. Uh, let me go through to the app. Uh, where is the app? Iron app, yeah. Okay, let me just look at this one. Simple example. In terms of what we're trying to achieve here. You see this example here, header toolbar, footer toolbar. Yeah, I think it's close to what we wanted to create. Yeah. The street structure here is the header, the toolbar, the title. And then there's a footer here, but then there's no iron content in between uh, that. You see, this example here 
here is the header with the buttons basically these ones you see this one menu button here uh, is this one here the toolbar the buttons the menu button and then the title yeah so this is what we're basically doing in our instance here you know so we're following what is in the documentation to be able to create this you know so for example this one has a search bar inside the header so to create for example uh, this remember we were saying new header and then we said new toolbar and then we said new title when we're creating this with voice command so looking at the examples in the documentation when you're doing your voice command you just need to take out the iron part of the command the iron part of the name then part of the tag actually you know? new header new toolbar new title and then it's going to activate uh, the property back and then we update the property back and add what you need to do for example for this particular case here we also said new menu button and 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 uh, our auto hide we unchecked it because we wanted it to be false you know so going through the example and uh, examples within the documentation and just following through like for example here we'll say new segment and this needs to sit inside the toolbar we're going to say new segment button new label you know uh, and then just make sure that things in the three structure are sitting in this particular hierarchy new progress bar you know so you can try around the examples and then see in terms of how you can create like for example you want to change the color I've added the color comp composition to it because you mostly you use it so to make the color primary secondary okay let's go to the toolbar let's change the color here now uh, I'm going to refresh this this is the toolbar yeah. I'm going to have to activate it first select toolbar A color success color success color success color success you see it has changed to success save component see it has changed now to green for example you go there it's this one success toolbar you know, which is this one here and then through our example we change the color to to that green you know so it's things like that that you can explore it you explore in relation to uh, setting things however as you have seen here the comprehension of voice command uh, is a little bit tricky because the clarity of your voice how you pronounce words is 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 also another issue however this has been added here to try and make things a little bit uh, faster in a way uh, especially when you're adding components because you don't have to go and look for a component here you know um, and 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 uh, use it like for example I want to change the design to be HTC one you see so uh, I didn't have to go to devices and select HTC one you know iPhone X so 
that is how you play around with the voice command to create your wireframe so um, download abstract design download design download design okay I need to add that so that it downloads our design but anyway from the look of things, we have created uh, an content called content A. We created a header inside that called header A, which is this part of the wireframe. And then inside the header A, we added a toolbar. We called it toolbar A. And then we added left buttons and call them left buttons, buttons left which is hosting this menu button. And then we added a menu button inside buttons left, which is that one there. And then we added a title inside the toolbar and called it Ionix 7. And then inside the div, we added content B, which is this part. And then we added a label called label A and we set the text to be hello Ionix 7. It has the wireframes. So basically, we're finished with our first wireframe through voice command. So that's it. Thanks.